As you suggest, the EU oil price cap has been a really contentious issue. No doubt it's something that OPEC is also watching. And what's going to happen on December 5 when these EU sanctions on Russian seaborne crude become effective as well? Odds are that this is likely to influence the OPEC thinking, but the problem is they still don't know exactly what's going to happen or what that price cap is going to look like. Well, first of all, I mean, the EU uh, sanctions on seaborne Russian oil are going to be implemented. They were announced a few months ago, so they kind of prepared the market for them. They are not a surprise. So that we know for sure they are going to be implemented. Now, of course, their effectiveness is questionable because we all know that oil markets are global. Oil is, a, um, is traded everywhere. It's, um, it's a liquid market. So it has, it's go if it has affected or it's going to affect oil market, it's going to be through a redirection of the oil trade flow and we have seeing that where more Russian oil is going towards Asia, more Middle Eastern oil coming to Europe and you know more more trade redirection of trade flow is, is happening. What is still the unknown is the price cap and so far the EU has not reached an agreement on the level of the price cap. So they said they want to impose a price cap which has been championed by the US but they have not they have not reached an agreement on the level of that price cap. And also so that is a big uncertainty at what price cap the EU is going to go for if they will go ahead with that in addition to their sanctions. But there is the other big unknown is how Russia is going to respond. Is Russia bluffing when they are saying they will not supply oil to any country who is going to be part of the price cap? Or they are still going to supply depending on the levels of the price cap is around 60 or 70. That is not going to create any harm for Russia because their oil is already traded at a discount. But if it's below that, then that will cause a pain and Russia may well be uh, execute its threat. So these are the main uncertainty is about the, uh, the, the price cap, and that could by itself create more volatility as we are seeing today in oil markets.